I'm going to show you the basics of how to use the set mat effect. The set mat effect is very similar to track mats in that it allows you to take the channel information from one layer and control the visibility of other layers. I'll use this blue texture layer as my mat layer and I'll add the set mat effect onto the text layer. So with the text layer selected, I can go to the effect menu, go to channel and choose set mat. Then go to the effect controls panel and the first thing I need to do is set the mat layer. So I'll go to take mat from layer, click the drop down, and so I'm going to choose the blue texture layer. So anywhere that there was transparency on the blue texture or the mat layer is hiding the text layer. And anywhere there wasn't transparency or where you're seeing the blue, you're seeing the text. And if I go back to the effect, if I click the invert, it's going to do the opposite. Now the transparency is showing the text and anything that wasn't transparent is hiding. And if you're familiar with track mats, you know that when you set a track mat, usually the layer visibility gets hidden. But with the set mat, we can still see the texture. And I can actually toggle off the visibility of the mat layer, and it is still doing its job. Another great thing about the set mat effect is that the mat layer can be anywhere on your layers panel. It can be all the way at the bottom, the visibility can be off, and you can still apply the effect. And you can also use the same mat layer on multiple layers. And I'm going to turn off the toggle transparency grid just so we can see a background color. So first, you select the layer that you want to use as a mat layer. Next to that, you will see this option here. So if you're using effects or mask on a layer, you want to make sure you choose this. Otherwise, you're not going to see the effect. I'll keep it at source and use mat 4. These are all of the available channels on your mat layer. But in most cases, you're going to use either the alpha channel, which refers to the transparency information of your mat layer, or the luminance channel, which takes the brightness values and experiment with inverting the mat. And these two options down here, you're probably not going to use that much. Here I have a text layer and a shape layer. I'm going to select the text layer, add the set mat effect by going to effect, channel, set mat. I'll go to the effect controls panel, click the drop down to choose the mat layer, and I'm going to choose the shape layer. I'll toggle on the transparency grid so you can see what's going on. So the alpha channel of the shape layer, so that's the blue layer that you're seeing below. The alpha channel of the transparency is hiding the visibility of the text layer and showing the text. Now, if I invert it, the opposite is going to happen. If I move the text layer, so I'll tap V and move it, you can see I can move it outside of the shape layer. When it gets to the shape layer, it's visible. When it's not, it's hidden. Same if I toggle off the layer. If you bring in a vector file, such as from Adobe Illustrator, if you add the set mat effect, you're gonna see it acts differently than text layers and shape layers. That's because you need to tick the box for continuously rasterize. As text layers and shape layers are continuously rasterized. So once I tick this box, you're going to see now it's acting similar. And if you're using something like a PNG file, where you cannot tick the box. If you pre-compose the layer, then you'll be able to check continuously rasterize and it should work the same. And my favorite use case for the set mat effect is using it with textures. So here, I just have one layer with an animated texture and all of the other layers have the set mat effect on it set to that animated texture layer. That's it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.